guys? Welcome back to another NCLEX video. In this video, I'm going to talk about root words, specifically prefixes and suffixes, and how it will help you pass your NCLEX in 75 questions like I did. gain more information about the nursing profession or to gain more knowledge about nursing in general, please subscribe down below and check out my NCLEX video series that I'm making that will talk about how I pass my NCLEX in 75 questions in under one hour and 45 minutes. So you definitely want to subscribe so you don't miss out. So identifying what the prefixes and suffixes are help you understand certain concepts a lot better. So let's talk about um, cholecystectomy. So cholecystectomy is the removal of the gallbladder. So let's break down the term cholecystectomy. Chole, you can refer to that as talking about bile, and ectomy is the removal of. What stores bile? Well, the gallbladder stores bile, and ectomy means removal of. So what, uh, what does that mean? What does cholecystectomy mean? It means the removal of the gallbladder. Another great example is cholecystectomy cholecystyramine, cholestyramine, I can never say that. That's a medication that is used to lower uh, cholesterol by excreting bile, by secreting bile. So you know that choli is referring to bile and the medication cholestyramine secretes bile, which lowers cholesterol. Another great example is hyperemesis gravidarum. Now hyper, you can think of hyper as secreting, like a lot of, hyper means a lot of, and hyperemesis, well, emesis means um, vomiting or throwing up. Emesis means throwing up. So hyperemesis means throwing up a lot, and gravidarum means pregnancy. So you can utilize these certain concepts in order for you to understand certain situations a lot better, and ultimately, this will help you answer NCLEX style questions. So here's a list of prefixes and suffixes I created as I was studying for my NCLEX. Remember, this is a great tool that you can use to remember certain terms in order for you to understand what the question is asking. Feel free to pause the video at any moment so that you can write down any of these terms. Alternatively, I'll have all these prefixes and suffixes listed down below in the description box so you can always check it out there as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck on the NCLEX. If I can pass it, you can pass it too.